Hello everyone, my name is Cecilia Coombs and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, this will be a get ready with me and I'll pretty much be showing you every single step that I took in order to achieve this face beat. So if you are interested in seeing how I achieved this look, please do keep on watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your post notification bell and please make sure that that little red button goes grey. I really hope that you guys will enjoy this. Bye. So I did one of my brows off camera and I'm going to show you how I groom this brow. As you can see, my brow hair grows really fuzzy. So here I've just got a little bit of normal Vaseline at the back of my hand. And I'm just going to lather that onto the brow and I'm grooming my brows with a razor. So I need to make sure that... I make it as smooth as possible so that I don't cut myself. Leather on the Vaseline. Comb out my brows. Just a Supermax razor blade and I hold it with the wrapper and I just take a little bit of the razor out so that I don't hurt myself. Just like that. Then I pull out the skin and then I bend it a little bit and then I start shaping. This is how I do the other brow. So I'm using this Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. And I'm just going to draw hair-like strokes onto my brows and make it just a little bit thicker. Fluffing this out so I don't make it as dark as it looks right now. In here, I've got a medium shade of LA Girl Pro Conceal. And that's what I'm going to use at the top of my brow. And here I've got this yellow shade that I normally conceal with, which is the yellow corrector. So I'm going to use this medium shade at the top of the brow and this yellow like shade at the bottom of my brow as well as blend it down onto my eyelid. Then I'm going to take the same brush and tap into this yellow shade of concealer and then conceal underneath are they cousins? are they friends? are they distant relatives? I guess we'll never know then I've got this spray water bottle and I'm going to be using it on all my sponges but this is again my essence setting spray or fixing spray and I like using it on my face before and after I put on my makeup. I'm going to be using it on the tips of my blending sponges. This mustache. Ciao. Then I'm going in with my foundation. This is the Babyline New York Fit Me Foundation Matte and Poreless in the color 324, which is Warm Natural. This is hella light. <laughs> in the last video, you guys would have seen that I mixed it with a different foundation. And I don't know who I thought I was today. But I was like, nah. I'm not going to mix it. I know who I is. I know who I is. And look at me now. A nice, cute, yellow emoji. Okay. I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at all. We're gonna go a little bit higher for that nice cat look effect. I've got a nice big five head, so I'm not gonna highlight too much there. Blonde color stay in the shade 
019, right? And this will be my contour shade. We're sculpting. I don't have very high cheekbones, so what are we doing? We're creating high cheekbones. Next up, I'm going to be using the Signature Translucent Powder and I'm going to start baking. So I need to make sure that I don't have any creases. Look down and then bake. And we are pretty much just setting this concealer. I'm going to let this powder just chill there. And then I'm going to take a medium slash darkish shade from this palette. And we're going to set our contour. I'm just going to pinch it. And let's do the nose. And I'm just going to take a fluffier side of the brush. Pop it on with powder. And let's just try to diffuse this. For my eyeshadow. I don't want to go too loud in this. I just want to do a nice, simple, really cute brown nude look we don't remove the baking powder until you're done with your eyeshadow so that you can hold all the fallout so i'm just going to add a little bit more of the baking powder and by the way these products are all really good because i'm a person with really dry skin and i don't feel cakey so i've used a mattifying spray i've used a mattifying foundation and i'm using a whole lot of powder and I don't feel cakey, I don't feel stiff, like my face still feels fine. So I really like that about these. Outer corner, just a little bit. The pigment, the pigment child. Let's just blend the outer corner like that. A lighter brown. into my crease and diffuse that harsh line over there so the lighter the color of the concealer that you're cutting your crease with the better it will capture the actual color of the eyeshadow that you put in so this is most likely to catch more color and make it pop than this shade right i'm just gonna take a nice flattish brush put on the concealer and then let's cut my crease so i'm just gonna pop a little bit here at the top of the lid look up and that shows me where my crease ends and let's carve it out let's do half a crease i'm just gonna take a clean brush and pop in a really light shade of brown and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of yellow fall out and let's just first pack it on and then I'm just going to add a little bit more and then blend it out this is so we don't move the concealer while it's still wet. So we set it and then we continue blending. And then we have a quick cut crease. I'm going to take a different brush, the same one that I was using. I'm going to go back into a medium shade of brown and close the end of the crease. 
just so that there's no harsh line showing that this is where I cut my crease and this is where I ended it off. A little bit black, a little bit of plum. I will take liquid eyeliner from Signature. Let me come a little bit closer to the mirror because hectic. I'd like a little bit of blush to bring back color onto this face. I'm just going to use a little bit of orange. Let's diffuse that. So, look to the cheeks. Press it in together and just dab everywhere. And bring everything together. The scrub highlighter. I just want to fix my brows. I don't know what's happening here, but whatever that's going on here, I'm not happy with. liquid lipstick from the body shop this is from the body shop right yeah this is how it looks it's a liquid matte but it feels really nice on the lips please do let me know if you guys would like to see a video of me washing my hair as well as redoing the braids as you can see it's a little bit of overgrown and it looks just a tad untidy and i think i just want to redo this entire front line just so that it looks a little bit cute again so comment down below if you'd like to see that but yeah i'm done this is the final look of my version of a full face beat I think the last thing I'll do is just apply mascara to my bottom lashes and then I'll be done. Just come a little bit closer. And there you go. This is the final look. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment down below if there's any other video suggestions that you'd like me to do. I really hope that you enjoyed this video.